The BTP refresh has been live for Halo 5 for about a week now, and I want to give you guys my thoughts and opinions on the place and if it's something that should bring you back to playing Halo 5. Stay tuned throughout the video to understand all the details. How's it going everybody? It's Kevin here once again, giving you another gameplay commentary. Today we're doing a little bit of a review of the refresh of the big team battle place in Halo 5, the highly anticipated refresh. So I'm going to give you guys my thoughts on this whole thing. So if you guys like these more discussion videos, please make sure to tap that like button as it lets me know you want to see some more content like this leave a comment down below where your thoughts are on the btb refresh what do you think could be improved what do you think is great what do you don't like you know i read all the comments and try to reply to most of them as well and if you're new to the channel want to stay up to date with anything halo related like halo infinite mcc mcc on pc halo 5 still make sure you tap subscribe with the bell to keep you notified whenever we upload anything on the channel so let's get right into the video here guys so this btb refresh was initially talked about back in december of 2018 and when i heard that i was super excited about it since the last time we had a refresh at btb was probably back in 2017 with just any new form of maps or contents or anything and so the playlist got very still to the point where 343 was even thinking about removing the btb playlist which to me would be very shocking since btb has always been in halo since ever pretty much uh, btb was even the most popular playlist in halo 4 back in the day so that's what would help create warzone so you know you gotta expect that you gotta have btb it's just one of those things you gotta have but 343 decided to go back in and try to give this playlist a full overhaul experience to where i can give you something that they truly want to have probably last until the end of halo 5's li lifespan so let's get right into the details here this update brings seven brand new Forge maps to BTB, including the already existing 12 maps. So we have 19 maps total to play on. So that's a lot of content to go through. And I've put at least 15 hours into this playlist already. And I would say for the most part, pretty much every map I've played, I've pretty much enjoyed. Uh, you know, there obviously are maps that I like more than others, but there isn't any map that glaringly stands out going, you know what, I never want to play that one again, which is really great to have happen. Uh, you know, I definitely would experience that a couple times on the BTB playlist beforehand, but I'm really glad 343 took their time to kind of get these maps together. And it wasn't really just 343, it was a lot of the Forge community as well got involved with this, uh, with the leads from 343, kind of helps sus with the sustain team. And so I have to give huge kudos to the the Forge community for making this playlist just the best it's ever played in my opinion and uh, the new maps have been great I, I've been like I said I put about 15 hours in this playlist I've played every map multiple times except for Viking I haven't played Viking once in like my 15 hours of play time. A lot of Voyager. You'll be playing a lot of Voyager when it comes to these map rotations. And I'm not complaining that Voyager is a bad map. It's certainly a great map, a great addition to BTB, but I'm just saying I play it, it feels like almost 50% of the time I'm playing BTB, it's on Voyager and I've never played Viking. Now I don't know if there's just horrible, horrible luck on my end, but it seems like a lot of Viking, a lot of traffic jam, and a little bit of guillotine, and a mix of everything else kind of down the way, but a lot of Voyager. So I would I think the playlist rotation could be doing a little bit better. Um, I don't know if just mathematically it's all even and if just being horrible luck, or if it's actually like lower weighted on Viking and really highly weighted on Voyager without um, understanding that how that would happen. Of the new maps that have been added to BTB, my favorite one would probably have to be Fossil. For one, the visuals on it are fantastic. I love the gigantic covey structure that's in the middle of the map. It looks like something ripped straight out of Halo 3 and it gets me really excited just seeing that map play. But I like the, the big open space that this game, the map has, uh, but then also the weapon selection great on it as well but i think the really cool feature that they added with it since they uh, have now like bomb and one flag and things like that are playable on the map is that they have these shields that you can actually shoot in the back of the base which creates a generator shield that can stop people from basically sniping you off of your spawn and i think it's a really cool addition that the forge is able to add stuff like that into the game to make these maps more interactive and you can use it to a much for a great strategic advantage and it's a great addition to this and i was really glad to see that something like that can be created in forge and gets me excited to see like what will come in the future as well i've also really enjoyed the remake of Entomb. If you guys remember that map, it was kind of like the jungle themed ruins map that was in BTB. And that map was okay. It, didn't, it wasn't really my favorite or anything. And uh, the, I felt the performance on it was pretty bad. But with the remake of Intune by Duquesne23, refreshed by Dark Death and 
uh, our pod that the performance on the map has improved greatly the visuals have improved and i think the gameplay itself has also improved as well where i think the flow of the map is r much improved and i think the gameplay on it is just the best this map has ever played and plus like the uh, sang healy uh, visuals of it just work really well with forge and i think it's a really well done map and i touched on this a little bit but how about performance uh from previous iterations of btb there was always maps that had really bad frame rate drops uh, which i've noticed quite often because i play on the xbox one just the original one and so then I don't have the best ex best equipment to get the best experience possible. And I noticed a lot of frame drops happening, especially like on the map like Intune back before it was updated. Uh, I remember looking from where the binary rifle spawns down to like where the wraith would spawn back then. And it's just like frame drop city, like crazy. And all these maps had these issues. And I noticed that it was very difficult to track your uh, enemy when you're trying to aim at them when the frames are dropping. It just became a really clunky, bad experience. And that's one thing that the Forgers actually took in consideration. I actually asked a lot of the, uh, the people involved with this update and they said, yeah, we made sure that a lot of these maps were able to perform under stress of having a full lobby playing online and to have it work well. And now there still are frame drops, but it's so minimal compared to where it was before on certain maps. It'd be like, it'd be like going from like 60 to like 55. You'd be like, oh, that's a little bit of a frame drop, but yeah, I can get past it, no problem. It wasn't like dropping down to 45 or lower like I would experience previously. And that's one of the things I mentioned in my BTB refresh video I made about the things I would like to see changed is one of the top things was performance because almost every map had some big issue on it and would really hinder gameplay. And I'm really glad that the team took that into consideration and actually helped make sure these maps perform to their fullest potential. Now, big thing when it comes to this BTB refresh, a lot of people are asking for a weapon, starting weapon change, as in remove the battle rifle, because a lot of people don't like how the battle rifle plays right now in Halo 5, me included. And, you know, I was originally saying, why not just go with the Magnum? They tried using the Magnum for these for this update, but then they said that basically no one was ever picking up weapons, so they didn't make the maps interactive, which kind of made them kind of blank canvases and kind of stale and boring. But then when you use other things like the Stabilization Jet BR, they were just laser beams, and so it wasn't enjoyable to play either. And I was also asking some of the Forge guys as well that basically like no one was super happy about having the battle rifle start, but it lent itself to the best gameplay. But so now you're probably thinking, oh god, I don't want to use the battle rifle in big team battle. It's terrible. Well, what they did to compensate for that is they added in a ton of precision weapons all over the map. Uh, things like magnums, carbines, DMRs, light rifles as well that you can at least spawn and you'll be able to find something that be could be useful for you within a quick walking distance. And I really like that. It helps make the map more interactive. It helps you learn the maps better as well because picking up weapons obviously is a very crucial part when it comes to playing Halo. And so yeah, the battle rifle start, not my favorite, but it probably is the best because then you're not mapping people with the laser beams of a rifle, but then also it's a, something that kind of keeps that char characteristic feel of what ba Big Team Battle has to offer. And I think that the Forgers did a great job of placing weapons strategi strategically throughout the entire map. So then you're not stuck using the battle rifle. I never feel like I'm stuck using that weapon. I always feel like I have the opportunity to go find something better and not like, not like everything's picked up and taken. So a uh, great job by the team to help you know give those players who are gonna want to try to find better weapons the opportunity to do so. Now obviously you can't have a BTB playlist without awesome vehicles and every map of course does have their standard vehicles like ghosts, warthogs and things like that. Some maps do have banshees and you're not completely defenseless against these things which I think becomes a big issue when it comes to uh, the vehicle play really in BTB. So you have to give players options to be able to defend themselves but then also not too many options where vehicles are completely pointless. It's a very delicate balance and I think that they did a great job of uh, utilizing vehicles. I feel like they uh, they more accent the gameplay and help assist a team to win rather than being a reason a team wins, which I think is the properly the proper way for a map to play out when it comes to BTB. Uh, I hate to have vehicle spam just all over the place. Uh, I do think Ancestor still kind of struggles with this where it's still very crowded and uh, having a Banshee on top of two Wraiths as well. And then I think there are Ghosts as well on the map as well. So like it's, 
it's pretty crowded and so that map i think is very vehicle heavy and so that one's kind of a struggle what has my overall experience been with this btb refresh i've been extremely happy with it i think this is the best that btb has ever played in halo 5. if you're a btb fan and you haven't played halo 5 in a while you better jump on now while the, the getting is hot pretty much when it comes to the peak population of this playlist and you better get a chance to get into the knowing these maps as well because uh, this map this BTB place is going to be ranked coming summer season which I'm guessing which is gonna be June and so then you gotta you know get a head start on a lot of the people who are gonna try to rank up in this place as well so it can even have a completely new experience of sweaty BTB matches which would be interesting so yeah the refresh on the whole thing the maps are great uh, the BR starts are not my favorite but they did a great job of compensating for that for leaving a lot of precision weapons around the map for you can use those uh, the vehicle play I think it does a great job of not overpowering but also assisting their team as well and just overall the experience has been just phenomenal and I think like I said this is the best that BTB has ever played in Halo 5 I'm really happy and I've been grinding it out a ton I'm really enjoying it and I can't wait to keep playing more of it which I've been doing on stream quite often let me know in the comment section down below guys what your thoughts are on the BTB refresh I do read all the comments and try to reply to most of them as well if you like this kind of review kind of video please make sure to tap that like button let me know if you want to see some more content like this leave a comment down below like I said don't forget to tap subscribe with the bell to keep you up to date with anything going on the channel here and if you're new to the channel or miss any content from me make sure to check out the videos on the screen right now I'll catch you on the next video Peace out.